So um, we were talking about 60 gigahertz millimeter waves. And I don't know if any of you remember how many millimeter is 60 gigahertz. So 300 is the speed of light. Right? Five, eh? five millimeter, right, exactly. So five millimeter wave, and this is why it is called millimeter wave. And since it is so, such a small wavelength, there are many things that we talked about its properties, such as it needs a very small antenna, it cannot go very far, and, and so on. And therefore, it is used for short distances like this. Are going from there to text. Thing. So these are the applications. Mostly, it is for cable replacement for high definition streaming video. So now, people, some people ask question as to why do you need seven gigabits per second in your home? And really, there are very few applications that need that much. So they came up with this high definition uncompressed streaming video. I don't want to see uncompressed streaming videos. You see, the thing is, every day that you're watching the video in your home, it's all digital, it's all compressed, and it's all okay right now. But um, there might be some applications, but this is where it is going. It's high definition uncompressed streaming video. Maybe in the studio they need it, but at home, probably it doesn't. Interactive gaming, yes, that is where, you know, if you have, basically, if you're doing some gaming and you want to see the action right away, all that, that is that is one. High-speed file transfer, yes, if I'm, when I'm doing the file transfer, I want it fast. And then mesh backhaul, which is shown in this picture. Now, this is not very short distance. This is long distance. And so what will happen is you will have to send a lot of power for it to reach here because it is very short wavelength. It gets it gets attenuated very fast, but then you can use it for high speed. So there was a lot of activity back in 2009 or 2005 onwards on this band, 60 gigahertz band. At least seven standards were developed. And um, just two years ago when I gave this class, I discussed four of these standards in the class. This year, I'm going to discuss only two. And next time when I offer this class, there will be only one. Because with time, we know which is what is going, what is coming. Okay? So, two years ago, we were not sure. And we discussed, I think, the first top five. Or maybe not top four. Top four. But now we are sure that these are not going anywhere. The only thing that is going anywhere is 802.11 AD. Okay, so we will discuss that today. The next thing that is having some mileage is wireless HD. And wireless HD was actually the leader all the way until 11 AD showed up. Okay, so two years ago when I did the product search, I found everything wireless HD. This year, when I did the search on Amazon, there is only one product that showed up, wireless HD. Everything else is 11AD. Okay? So, wireless HD is on its way out. And I am um, presenting here in this class simply because there are some concepts which I, I think are interesting that will be helpful when we talk about other protocols such as LTE. So, so I am going to take those aspects of wireless HD. And here is Google Trends. So another thing I do is figure out where the world is going is Google Trends. And this was done actually last week. So you can see EC ECMA, which was one of the first standards, is going nowhere. It is, it is not even leading, leaving this. This is in this color, by the way. You can't even see that color in the, in the line. It is just only here, zero. Right? 802.15.3c is somewhat yellow. And again, I cannot see that line mostly. So most of the things that I see here are wireless HD, which is red, which was really high in 2009 and now coming down to zero. Y gig and um, 802.11ad are same, by the way. So Y gig is the product name for 802.11ad. 
and those are the things that people are searching for. Now, this Google Trends simply says what people are searching for. It doesn't say people are buying it. But if people are not buying it, they're not searching for it. 3C is what? No, 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 that's not Zigbee. That is a 15.4. And I will come to that Zigbee thing later on. By the way, the 15 has many versions which we'll discuss. And um, IoT requires very low bandwidth and very low power, which is different than 3C, which is very high bandwidth. And power is, you know, actually not that much of an issue. So, so you see, no one is interested in ECMA anymore. Wireless SSD was hot in 2008 and 9, but now being taken over by AD. And when I did the product search, I found two or three products on YHD. YHD is the wireless HD, right? And 10 to 15 products are Y gig. Two years ago, we could not buy anything on 1180, which was not there, right? But in two years, things have changed. So today, when you go to Amazon, you will find lots of products on 1180. And in fact, you can buy a laptop and, and then the cards for that laptop. These are all available right now. You can buy a docking station, which doesn't require a wire from HP and Dell. So all these four products are using 1180. Okay. And they call it tri-brand tri -band products. Why tri-brand? Because these same 1180 products also do 11 AB, G, and AC. So they do 2.4 gigahertz. They do 5.8 gigahertz. And they do 60 gigahertz. Tri-band. So there is no single product like you, you cannot just buy 60 gigahertz alone. I mean, right now, people are, cannot justify the cost of having two connections on a computer or two connections on anything. So with one chip or one card, you can get everything. Like this card, 11N plus Y gig. And this is actually wireless HD product. And uh, this is the only thing I could find this time on Amazon. Everything else has disappeared. I went to the wireless HD website. They are still showing 10 products, but those are historical. Those, I think they haven't seen the website since 2009. They haven't updated the website, you know, since it was at this peak. Most of those products I checked uh, on the manufacturer website, they don't exist anymore. So there's only one, and this is actually, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, basically it costs about 150 or $200 to replace a cable, which is right here. This is my HDMI cable. I don't know whether I want to pay $200 to replace that cable. And um, so it's not very interesting, but these are just general products and the cost is incremental because I need 11 in any way. So I might get that three band rather than two band. So that's why 11 AD is happening.